Poor Livingston has a couple ticks in his ears. I could notice just some black spots. I actually noticed them a couple days ago, but they were much smaller and I couldn't tell that they were ticks. And I tried messing it with this morning and I could tell he was very sensitive. He's so strong. He ran away from me so hard. I actually had to wrestle him to the ground. I know. I know. Okay. And actually maybe three. There's a black spot there and there's two black spots in there. And he won't really let me show you, but... So, okay, okay, buddy. I'm gonna get those out. The thing with ticks is you gotta get them removed immediately. I bought these a few years back when we had a big tick problem at our other mountain house. We had lots of trees and I had to cut some down immediately around the house. But I got this on Amazon. I've never used it before because the ticks that were on our kids, we were able to grab before they got a hold of their skin. But what you do is you don't ever pull on a tick because that will leave the mouth parts inside and you can get infected. So this one you swoop and then you twist. There's a little one and a big one. So you put the you put the tick in that notched part and then you twist like a tornado. I've got some alcohol and some swabs to put on those spots and then we're going to put the ticks in here. I may send them off to get tested just to make sure they don't have Lyme disease, but this poor guy. All right, let me see if I can do this. My husband's not here and I don't know if he's gonna let me mess with him. Wrestling him to the ground was really hard. He's so strong, but we'll see what I can do myself. He seemed to, once I got him down on the ground and I was able to check, he seemed to kind of calm down and realize that I was helping him, so. All right, buddy. I know. I know. I'm just going to scoot these off. I know, buddy. I know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Let me get it. Let me get it. Let me get it. Hey, 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 hey. Let me get it, please. Let me get it. You're a good boy. Let me get it. Almost done. Almost done. So I was able to get them both out. I think I was able to get both of their mouthpieces completely out, but they have like a chunk of his, poor guy, they have like a chunk of his ear here that twisted off. And ticks are just notoriously difficult to kill. You don't ever want to squish them. You want to either drown them in alcohol or put them in a Ziploc bag. And I think I will get these tested. I have a few kits also on Amazon. There's just like these really great kits that you can mail the tick into a lab and they'll test it for Lyme disease. We've had to do that a few times for our dogs just to make sure that they don't have Lyme disease. So I'm hoping that's all. I think those maybe were on him when he came because I, I noticed the tiny little black specks in his ear but I just they were so small <clears throat> that I didn't notice they were ticks and this one's gotten nice and fat. The nice thing about Charlay's is they're 
bright white, so he should be fairly easy to check for ticks regularly. I'll give him a good, thorough look over today. I got some isopropyl alcohol on that. Good boy, I'm sorry. He was kind of a baby about it. I think he knew I was trying to help him, but he didn't like it. But once I got him down on the ground, which I didn't get on camera because it was right after I was bottle feeding him and it just caught my eye. Um, it took me a good three or four minutes to wrestle him down. He is so strong. And I also didn't want to hurt him because he's still, he's a baby. He's only like nine days old now. So I'll give him a look over and just make sure he doesn't have any other ticks on him. Any little black spots are gonna be suspect to me, but you should feel better. I know those were bugging you because when I tried to just grab his ear gently to look at it he went bolting it just was a sensitive pain point for him and so then I knew something was wrong and it wasn't just uh I thought it, I actually when I saw it I thought it was a little goat turd because it was just black and round but um yeah once I got a hold of it I could definitely tell it was a tick these ticks look a lot different than the ones I've seen in this area they're just like solid light brown where I'm used to seeing more striped ones. But I know there's so many different types of ticks and I just, ugh, it's probably one of the things I hate most on this earth, being an animal lover and having young children and having a farm. So you just gotta be diligent and keep an eye and I'll research ways to treat and prevent ticks in livestock.